Good morning. Your life is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you say you can, you can. And if you say you can't, you can't. Now, what do I mean by that? So I love it when people say to me, I can't do that. And I'll say, oh, great. Okay, fine. How many times have you tried to do that? I haven't. Okay, why haven't you? Um, because I can't do it. And I say, right, okay. So what they're really trying to say to me is, I'm not prepared to do it, or I'm scared to do it even. And most times it is because people are scared to do it. And that's fine, do you know, we're all humans and we all have the fear factor. And fear is great because it protects us, but also it, um, it, it, it inhibits um, the process of us moving forward. And when we say we can't do that, where does that come from? So if I said to you, okay, go and speak to that person over there on that bench and ask them out for a date, you would probably freeze in fear. And that is because there's this all mash of negativity around going and asking the question because we don't want to be rejected or we don't want to fail at that. We don't want somebody to tell us no. Um, why is that? Well, generally that comes from teachings, parenting, uh, friends, um, generations of being told, we can't do that, you mustn't do that, don't do that, that's frightening, that's scary. Oh, you might fall off that if you do this, if you do that. So our brain, what fires together, wires together. So once it's wired together, our neurons are going, oh no, we don't want to do that, we don't want to do that. So when your brain comes to the next question of, um, shall we do that? The brain is a muscle, so it will take the path of least resistance. It takes the default path, and the default path is negativity, and the default path is uh, relaxed, being a muscle. So what we have to do is we have to kick our muscle into action. And we say to the brain, come on brain, we can do this, we can do this. And then the brain will start to find the processes and the answers to do it. Um, but generally, if you say to the brain, I can't do it, the brain will go, oh, thanks for that. Thanks, I'll just sit here and chill. We'll, we'll, we're fine. Put the shoes back, close the door. We're gonna chill, we're gonna chill. So what I would love you to do is test your can and can't. Test it. So do something that is really frightening um, to you. Um, and it may be something really big. It could be something really small. It could be something physical. It could be something mental. It might be asking somebody a question. Um, but generally, if it's a question, there's only two answers that you're going to get. Um, and that is yes or no. And if it's a no, then you'll know further back than where you were when you started. And if it's a yes, fantastic. You one step further. Um, and I'd love to hear your responses. I would love to you for do, to do something today and that you can, you find out that you can actually do it. Um, and it wasn't that frightening because what then happens is you get this amazing response, this amazing mental, emotional um, and soulful response to being able to do it. And that will then propel you on to the next thing that you can do. So try it out. It won't be that frightening. I promise you. I promise you. And like always, if you need any help, get in touch with me. I'm delighted. I'd be delighted to help you. I would be absolutely over the moon to help somebody forward. My purpose is to empower people and to make them realize that actually your genius is already in you. You can do this. You can do this. I can just help you and push you along if that's what you want from me. Um, so what I'd love to talk about tomorrow is, is you and are you a tenant in your life or do you own it? So have a lovely day, folks. Enjoy Thursday. Thank you